So I am EK and welcome. Today we are in John chapter 3 taking a look at verse 11 through about the middle of verse 12. Hmm. Mark this so that I don't forget like I did in the Greek video. So right there is where we're going to start. Here is a rubric, everything that we're looking for as we go through this text. Let's move. Amen, amen, dico tibi quia quod scimus loquimur et quod vidimus testamur, et testimonium nostrum non equipitis. Si terena dixi vobis et non creditis. All right. Amen, amen. I've seen that before, it just means truly, truly, or as we see it. Dico, seen that one before, it's present tense, because of the O right there, I say. Tibi, tu tui tibi te te. This is dative singular, to you. Quia, that or because, it's usually going to be that in John, as far as we've seen so far. Quod, could be from qui qui quod, or it could be because again. Since we got qui right there, I, I really don't think so, so qui why quod to you od there we go so this is either nom to singular or accusative singular neuter schemos there with an mus tells us it's going to be accusative what schemos mus skiuski skiwi this is present tense first person plural Active, indicative. We know. Loquimur, M U R, is another first person plural. This comes from locor, which is a deponent verb. Otherwise, it is the same, just add that in, deponent. We say, and I think this is a more conversational than uh, Dico is. And, quote again. Gonna parse that. What? Widemos, wideo, widere, widi. So this is a second conjugation. Wides et emos et is ent. So since there's an I, we know that this has to be a perfect tense. First person plural, perfect, active, indicative, and what? We have. Seen testamur mur again as our ending, so it's going to be the same as locor testo testare. I think is that form we testify. This is deponent, and that is deponent, so that's nice. And which is not spelled at. <laughs> Testimonium nostrum non acipitis. T-I-S is our ending right here. So this is going to be a plural second person. Acipo, acipere, acapi. So since we have that I instead of that E, this is going to be present. So second plural present active indicative. Non makes a negative. You do not receive, accept, testimonium, um right there. Initially looking at the I, you might think a genitive plural of an I stem third declension, but no, this is testimonium, testimony, so it's a normal second declension neuter, accusative, singular. Nostrum, um right there, so match that an adjective, so keeps the same form, and witness, testimony, our, okay, 12. Quote is still going on, so I'm going to add this in to keep track when we read later. C, if, terena dixi, we've seen that one before, I said, this is the alpha right, not alpha, A right there is going to be an accusative, 
chloral neuter terrestrial earthly or transitory so those are three options for terena so it's a great word you should use it as much as possible and then people will stare at you weird i said wobis is right there could be either dative or ablative this is a verb of speaking so we want a dative as the indirect object plural to y'all et and negative credites tis again credo credere credidi since since we don't have the reduplication in the middle there it's going to be present tense second person plural Indicative, and you do not believe. And that's as far as we're going to go today. Let's take a look at it in its own context to make sure it actually makes sense. And then from verse 1. Truly, truly, I say to you that what we know, we say, and what we have seen, we testify. And you do not receive or accept our testimony. If I said terrestrial things, this is technically an adjective, to you, and you do not believe, incomplete thought. So it does make sense except for the fact that it's an incomplete thought. Now from the beginning of the chapter. But there was a man of Pharisees, Nicodemus by name, ruler of Jews, this one comes to him, came to him at night, and he said to him, Rabbi, we know that you have come from God, a teacher, for no one is able to do these signs which you yourself do unless God was with him. Jesus responded and said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless someone has been born anew, he is not able to see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus says to him, how is man able to be born while he is old? Surely he is not able to go inside womb of his mother a second time and to be born. Jesus responded, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless someone has been born again from water and spirit, he is not able to enter into kingdom of God. What has been born from flesh is flesh, and what has been born of spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you it is necessary for you to be born again afresh anew. Spirit blows where it wishes, and you hear its voice, but you do not know from where it comes and to where it goes. Thus is everyone who has been born from spirit. Nicodemus responded and said to him, How are these able to? To happen. Jesus responded and said to him, You are teacher of Israel, and you do not know these? Truly, truly, I say to you, that what we know we say, and what we have seen we testify, and our witness you do not receive. If I said transitory things to you, and you did not believe, do not believe, dot, dot, dot. And there we have it. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope taking a look at this has been helpful for you. And I hope you have a good day. Wally. Hey, not asleep yet? That's okay. I've got tons of other equally sleep-inducing videos for you to watch. Check them out.